Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. This is a this is a weird turn of events. Somehow I've managed to make my way back onto Need for Speed. So welcome to Need for Speed 2019. Wait, that's not it. That's what I want to say in the near future. Welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and do a build for all time's sake. But we're going to talk a little bit about Need for Speed 2019. Because it is coming out this year. And what do I want from it? What do I want to see in it? What do I want changed from the previous Need for Speeds? into the new Need for Speed, which is, like I said, what we're going to talk about in today's video. And you guys can have a conversation with me by typing down in the comments what you guys want to see from the next Need for Speed, if you guys are going to buy it or whatever. I'm going to get it. Obviously, I am a car YouTube channel, especially racing games. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase it, make videos on it, do all that sort of stuff. I enjoyed Need for Speed Payback. I enjoyed Need for Speed 2015. It is an arcade-style game. It isn't like Forza, for example, even though arcade... It still sort of translates to Forza as well a little bit, but it is a little bit more, I guess, simulation standard than it is arcade. If I, I don't really know how to explain that. I really don't. But like, if there was a scale between simulation and arcade, Forza would be higher in this game, obviously, and this game would be a lot lower. But either way, that doesn't mean that a game is bad to play or a game isn't fun to play. So I will be getting Need for Speed 2019 now. What was I doing in this video? Oh yeah, I was supposed to be customizing. So this is an AMG G is it a GTS or is it just a GT? It is an AMG GT. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much do a little bit of customization to this thing. I don't really know what we can do to it. Uh, that's ugly, first of all, so we're not gonna do any of that stuff. Hood-wise, we got some prior design stuff, sure. Um, this is a drift spec build that I'm gonna be doing here, so it's gonna be a little bit interesting. We got ourselves some nice splitters on the front, though. There's a lot of options to choose from. Um, so yeah, what do I want for the new Need for Speed? I definitely want more customization options. It feels like there's a lot in this game. There isn't, though. I feel like there, there isn't. There should be a lot more, in my opinion. I think there, there can be a lot more. Um, than what it is in this game, even though uh, it still, like I said, feels like there is quite a bit of customization, but it's just, there isn't that much. Um, as for as for the car selection, I really do wish that there will be a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna keep the lights standard. They are dark enough as it is. If I make them black, it's just gonna look stupid. Um, there are quite a bit of customization options for some of the cars, but then other ones, like you go into them and there's just like nothing there to do for the cars, and it's just annoying. To do that, like you go into them and there's just nothing there to 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 modify or to customize. And obviously, um, this game came out in 2017, and uh, people thought it was just like a Need for Speed 2015.1 or 0.2 or whatever, uh, where it was just sort of, sort of like an update version of that game. And uh, it's uh, it's not really. Uh, I don't really care for the story, to be completely honest. So I don't really want another story type game. Like Forza, I think is doing just fine without a story in their games. Uh, and I definitely think that uh, not Need for Speed should follow the same thing. Well, if they want to have like a story, like if something very, very simple, they can do that. Something like the OG Need for Speed's like Underground, where you like sort of race just to gain reputation. But pretty much every single game is like that. Like this game is the same as well. You just sort of gain your reputation just by defeating the house, pretty much. So it's all very, very similar. But I feel like a story needs to just not exist, in my opinion. I don't really care. There's some big, big wings, by the way, that we could put on this car. There's some gigantic wings. Um, I'm gonna go with one of them. Let's go with this one. <laughs> Jesus, it's so big. Uh, we can change, can we change the rear bumper? We can't change the rear bumper at all. We can't, however, add a diffuser onto this thing that will completely change the rear end. Oh my god. Okay. There's a lot of options there for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really care for a story, so just, just don't bother with that. Just don't bother, like, messing around with, with like, story. Um, story stuff for this game, like this this upcoming game. Just keep it nice and simple. Just make sure we have a decent car list and obviously a lot of customization for the cars because I mean that's very 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 important for for car games. Um, is obviously the car list. I mean I think it's much more important uh, than having a good story. I think having uh, having the cars that are in the game that you get to drive a lot and then obviously having um, the freedom to drive on a big map. Whereas this map isn't really the best. It's still a little bit small. Um, and uh, yeah. Map, cars, and a lot of customization, especially since it's Need for Speed. I feel like Need for Speed should make their own parts for the game. Like, I mean, I know they already do for some of the cars, but I mean, there's a lot of cars that you still can't do a lot of stuff to them. And I'm like, I, I think I've said this before in like a different video. I'm like, like, why don't just Need for Speed make their own parts like they used to? Like, remember, they used to have like the Ace Kit, the Spider Kit, the Shadow Kit back in like Need for Speed. Uh, um, 
uh, most wanted or not most wanted actually most wanted was one of them that like it didn't have a lot of customizations the characters had like five different body kit settings i guess and that was pretty much it but back in underground days uh and also the need for speed carbon days need for speed carbon was unreal with customization you could like auto swap things you can make your own things in the game which was brilliant uh, literally like your own parts and that was great and I definitely do wish that that was a, a thing with this game as well, or this upcoming game. If there is a possibility to do that, uh, I definitely want them to go ahead and uh, and let us have like an auto sculpt feature where we can literally go ahead and create our own parts. Now, I like the way in this game you also have the underglow feature, obviously some neons. We also have air suspension, nitrous color, tire smoke. This is stuff that Need for Speed 2015 didn't have, which people were sort of complaining about. You know, it's a game where you customize your car, but you can't do like neons or underglow. We can't do uh, air suspension, stuff like that. I still think that Forza should add air suspension into the game or allow us to pretty much slam our cars. I mean, there's only, I don't know how many cars that you can actually put drift suspension on them. And that's the closest thing you'll get to a low, low car. Whereas in this game, you can put air suspension on, on the cars, and it looks brilliant. There's so many, so many good-looking uh, cars with air suspension that you can put on them. Now, this is also a feature that I really, really like in this game compared to... I mean, Forza is still doing a very, very good job with, uh, with the paints and all that sort of stuff. But I still like that in this game, they've tried and done a very, very good job when it comes to, uh, to the paint for this game. I feel like people are doing incredible, incredible paint jobs. For, for the cars in this. I don't know how it compares because I'm not the type of person to go ahead and do paints or uh, or work on paints on, on cars in either this game or in Forza. So don't really know if which system is going to be better or worse. However, I do still think that uh, this should definitely continue and be brought back in Need for Speed, uh, whatever it's going to be called. Need for Speed 2019, let's just call it. Um, so stuff like that, I really, really do enjoy. Now that we're out and driving, Let's talk a little bit about the driving physics in this game. I think that there's one feature that everyone wants to just get rid of in this game, and that is brake to drift. I know that there is an option to turn it off in this game, but if you want to be competitive, if you want to do the whole sort of getting on the leaderboard thing, try to beat people on your auto log, I definitely do think that brake to drift just needs to go. Brake to drift needs to go. It it sh it makes the game completely different uh, to the way obviously real life is. I know that this is an arcade style game and all that, but I definitely don't think that it needs Break to Drift. I think there's a lot of different ways that you can mess around with the game's physics where Break to Drift just shouldn't be a thing in the game. I mean, right now, all I'm doing is literally flooring, steering, and then braking every now and then to be able to sort of use my whole Break to Drift function. So I don't really like that. I'm not a huge, huge fan of that. And uh, it definitely, I think, I, I definitely think that it needs to be changed. I definitely think that it needs to be changed. I mean, look how easy it is for Forza Horizon to get really, really good driving physics. I think it's very easy to drive pretty much any car in that game. You slap on a bit of traction control if you're bad at driving, and you're fine. You want to take it off and be slidey everywhere. I think it's very, very easy to control. I mean, there's so many different ways you can drive in that game and have different types of assists on, but none of them will literally hand you uh, points, pretty much, if you want to drift for points. But I mean, like, none of them will literally, like, hand you, like, the, the way that the... I don't know. It's not spoon-fed handling, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like it's a lot more relaxed and, like, simpler to drive and a lot more realistic if you just compare that game to this game, for example. So I definitely do think that uh, Forza, especially Horizon, since it's a little bit more comparable to this, you know, open-world sort of game, instead of comparing it to Forza Motorsport, which is a little bit different, especially with the driving physics, I definitely do think that Forza Horizon has a little bit of a step up on this, especially when it comes to uh, the whole driving physics thing. Uh, so I definitely do think that there is a space there where um, where this game can actually excel. And uh, I think if you get the right developers behind it, if you get the, the right people behind the actual game, I think they could make this, uh, this upcoming Need for Speed 2019 a very, very good game. But again, it needs to be good. It needs they, people, they need to listen to the community. They listen, need to listen to what people are saying, especially the, uh, the the people that you know constantly write forums and all that sort of stuff people that I know that they complain but they only complain because they want the game to be good I know that there's people that will literally complain just because they'll complain about everything um, but some people literally just want the game to be good and they talk about the bad things because they don't want them in the future games so listen to the community and I think that they'll be able to do a very very good job with the upcoming Need for Speed if, uh, if they do so but that's it from me that is my opinion. If you guys have your own and you want to go ahead and tell me what you guys want and don't want in the next Need for Speed, if you're going to get it, if you're not going to get it, up to you. But if you guys have your own opinion, let me know down in the comments below and I'll go ahead and read them and I'll chat to you guys, obviously, down there and we'll see uh, what people want and don't want in the upcoming Need for Speed. That's it. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.